What is going on, guys? It is Rocker here. That's Carter bringing you more WWE 2K14 information in a WWE 13 video gameplay. And this is an article apparently from the GamerHub.net and the official PlayStation Magazine. CL.UK, so it's from the UK. But here is the stuff in um, the link will be in the description for this news if you guys want to read it for yourself. So let's get down to it. Alright, there's more confirmed information. So there is a confirmation of there being 380 unlock, which includes attires, video clips, and more. Pretty cool stuff. The attention to detail within the 30 years of WrestleMania is outstanding as they recreate the I, don't, I have no idea how to, how to say that word, Venus, with the correct attires and arenas. Um, yeah, that's very true. I love the arenas, how they look, and I love the attires even more. That's pretty freaking cool that they uh, managed to do all that in just in a year's time. The audio is taken from episodes of Raw, everything from the bombs, the crowd, etc. The crowd screams, it's clobbering time, along with CM Punk. That's freaking awesome! All of the 45 matches in the 30 years of WrestleMania mode have video packages made by WWE. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Hopefully uh, no one on YouTube gets any uh, copyright uh, dilemmas with them if they decide to do the 30 years of WrestleMania thing. I'm not sure if I, sh if I should do 30 years of WrestleMania. I'm going to be very busy with college, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to put that much editing time into a video, to be quite honest with you guys, sadly. Um... And you know, if I don't, there's a lot of great people out there that you can watch. You can watch uh, We Capture the Frag, Mufta, CM Pulse. You can watch all those guys do it, and I'm sure they'll do it way better than me, honestly. Um, but yeah, let's get down to the next thing right here. All of the WrestleMania arenas are officially confirmed in pretty cool stuff. Howard Finkel has all three different models for the game, or for the mode. 80s, 90s, and current. Davey Boy is confirmed out, apparently. Hogan failing to lift Andre appears to be mode exclusive as well. So much for weight detection. Well, there goes my hopes and dreams for the weight detection system. There goes my hopes and dreams for generic um, winning animations to be gone. And there goes my dreams of, you know, being able to hold the submission hold to the count of five if someone gets a rope break out. Three dreams broken. I gotta go cry in the corner, guys. I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> SummerSlam... Uh, 1992 arena is confirmed not to be in the game. The AI weights around less relative to last year's game. Hopefully they don't just go out of the, you know, of the arena and then, you know, get rid of the announce table or, you know, take the cover off of the announce table. They really did that a lot in WWE 13. And it was really stupid. While it is easy to pick up the win against the AI, timing is crucial to this year's gameplay. Not sure what that really means. And the last one right here, Brian Williams hinted at Daniel Bryan's yes entrance being as an alternate. As an alternate, I'm hoping that he doesn't mean I'll have to buy it. If I have to buy it, Brian Williams, you can go suck it because that is just the biggest, biggest slap to the face. I mean, I don't mind buying it, but, you know, teasing it and then making us buy it is a big slap to the face, honestly. I mean, I... Brian Williams, he's not one of those guys that I hate over at the WWE games. I really do not like Corey Ledesma. Um, I feel like, again, he only replies to good feedback. He never replies to the bad feedback. But hopefully Corey Ledesma finally takes it, the bad feedback, and we get some good patches for the game. Because the game is going to have glitches. And, you know, it is crucial that we fix any glitches that are very, very bad. Uh, I mean, Corey Ledesma, he never responded to the one count in WWE 13. That's why I do not like him. And, you know, bring back the Corey Ledesma hate. But, you know, the one count should have been fixed in WWE 13. Arbery Citizen had to take the blame. Well, not take the blame, but I remember he's the one that said it was a glitch. At first he said it wasn't a glitch, but then he said it was a glitch. So I'm not sure what's going on over there, but they have to fix the glitches. Xbox does not charge anymore for patches, so I expect a lot of support for this game. What do you guys think about this? Rocker X6 out, guys.